G'day and welcome to Better Peaks. Hope this finds everyone well. Today we're going to have a look at adjustment brushes and how you can incorporate it into your workflow. Adjustment brushes are a great tool. They allow you to make adjustments to specific parts of the images really quickly and easily. And they come with a full suite of adjustments that uh, allow you to specifically define how that happens. Let's have a look. So today's image is an image that I shot in Rome, Italy a few years ago. What we're going to do first though is just give it a quick image uh, edit, so more of a global edit, and get it to a point where I would naturally go onto an adjustment brush to start adjusting specific parts of the image. Alright, so we're just going to increase the contrast a little bit. That sky is quite bright, so we're just going to decrease the highlights and a little bit of shadow boost. We're going to pop a little bit of vibrance and saturation in there and maybe just a slight adjustment of temperature and tint. There we go, that's looking pretty good. We'll do a little bit more exposure and highlights. Now, as you know, the adjustments that I've uh, initially done are global adjustments, which means that they affect the entire image. But what if you want to make adjustments to specific parts of the image and only have those adjustments affect that area? There's a bunch of tools that can help you do this, and one of them is the adjustment brush. If we jump over to masking and we click on that one, we can see we have the option for brush there, the shortcut being B. I'm a big fan of shortcuts, as you know, so uh, if uh, you're able to use them and they speed up your workflow, then happy days. All right, now let's hit the brush there. And you can see that we have a brush with an inner circle and an outer circle. The inner circle uh, basically means that the adjustment is going to be affecting the image 100%, and then the section between the inner circle and the outer circle is where it will fade to nothing. So this is what's called feather, and you can increase and decrease that feather. So if I decrease it, you can see now there's a very thin um, or a very small difference between that inner and outer circle. If we go halfway, you can see it's a little bit bigger. I always generally like to uh, leave it on 100%. Obviously, this is different for some situations, but this means that it's a fairly gentle gradient between 100% application of the tool and no application of the tool. Obviously, you can also adjust the size of the tool. You can see that's quite big, right down to quite small. So... I tend to sit around probably 20 or 25 uh, for something like this. All right, let's apply a little bit of that adjustment brush. You can see it's not actually doing anything to the image other than showing a mask at the moment, So, which uh, you can see uh, that mask up here on the top right-hand corner. Basically, that mask just identifies and uh, lets you know exactly where you've painted until you start to make an adjustment for that area. For example, if I increase the exposure, you can see now that that mask disappears and we have a preview of what that adjustment brush or that adjustment within uh, that selection is making. And this is the point of uh, using these tools, particularly for this image, is on the left-hand side here it was a little bit dark, and I just want to increase the exposure a little bit so that we can see a little bit more detail in that area. It's not really a major adjustment. You can see there's no specific fine selection that I need to make. Uh, again, that feather is at 100%. Uh, but once we've made that selection, we can obviously uh, make that adjustment. And the aim for this image is to just have that increase in exposure in that area look fairly natural. You can see once we've changed the exposure, when we paint, we can see, see that it's applying extra um, adjustments to different areas of the image that we haven't already uh, affected. All right, that's pretty good. Now, as I mentioned, the aim with this image is to keep it looking fairly natural. Um, I don't want it to look, you know, anything outside of what you would normally experience on the day. This was a fairly contrasting image, even though it was overcast, um, between those highlights of the sky and uh, those shadow areas on the left-hand side of the image. So that certainly helped to bring up that exposure, and you can see now we've, we've got a lot better view of that detail on that left-hand side of the image. Adjustment brush is a great tool, and one that I use uh, very regularly, and uh, it's definitely worth you trying out and seeing you, if you can incorporate it into your workflow. Thanks so much for stopping by. Always appreciate it. As always, any questions are welcome in the comments below, and we look forward to seeing you next time. Take care.